In this video, I show you how to download and install better Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So just a quick note as well, you do need to fully own Minecraft for this tutorial. And honestly, better Minecraft is so, so cool to play with. And I recommend following this guide and hopefully you'll be able to get it. So now let's go and get straight into this. First step to go and install the better Minecraft mod pack is to go and open up a web browser. So personally, I'm using Google Chrome and then you want to come to a search engine such as Google. Then all you want to do is go and search for something called CurseForge. But do keep watching my spellings fully. Go and search for CurseForge and make sure you come to curseforge.com. Then once you're here, you want to go and just click accept and you need to go and click right on the top where it says CurseForge app in the top row. Click here and then it's going to go and take you to the download.curseforge.com. So we can go and do this on Windows and Mac as well, which is really cool. So you want to go and click on Windows, just like so. And here we are, it's now downloading. Now, just before we go and install this, I want to quickly explain, CurseForge is basically going to go and allow us to go and run Minecraft mod packs. It's a really cool way of doing this. But just a quick note, as I said in the intro, you still need to go and own Minecraft and you actually have to have paid for it. Um, this is not a guide to go and get Minecraft for free. You have to own it. The next step is to go and find the CurseForge installer. Because I use Google Chrome, it's in the bottom of my browser, but you may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder to go and locate the installer. But in my case, it's in the bottom of my browser. So I'm gonna go and drag it onto my desktop just like so. Now, the next thing you want to do is go and double click on the installer, just like so. You're gonna go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, my computer won't let me go and record that. So wait for this to go and load. Now, as you can see, we've got this option here. All you need to do is go and click on next, just like so, I select English. Then we've gone and got the option if you'd like to go and create a desktop shortcut. I've already read and agreed to the terms, so I'm going to go and click next, and then I'm going to go and click accept and install. Then it's going to go and start downloading all the files it needs as we actually only just downloaded the installer before, and it's going to go and install it. So you can sit back and relax. And once it's finished, it's going to go and say CurseForge has successfully installed, and it's also going to go and give you this window in your web browser as well. So now we can close off of that, and all you want to do is go and click on launch. If it doesn't automatically launch, then you can just go and double click on the shortcut as well. And then CurseForge is then going to go and launch. Now because I'm showing you what to do in this video, you can go and click skip intro just like so, and here we are. So all you want to do is go and click on Minecraft, just like so. And as you can see, we need to go and set up CurseForge Minecraft modding folder. So I recommend just clicking on standard and then go and clicking on continue. And then it's gonna go and sort everything out for you, just like that. So now you want to go and click search for mod packs. So now we want to go and of course go and search for better Minecraft, just like so, and go and hit enter. And it's gonna go and display all of the results. So we've got a few different options here. As you can see, there's better Minecraft for Forge, for Fabric, 1.18.2, uh, 1.16.5. There's a lot to choose from. Personally, I'm gonna go and get the 1.16.5 version, um, but you can get any version you like, and then you want to go and click install just here, and then it's gonna go and start loading. As you can see, it's gonna be installing and downloading all the required mods, um, so you can sit back and relax. And just a quick note as well, the download time taken is gonna vary on your internet speed, so it's gonna take a bit of a different length of time for everyone. Then it's gonna go and show you the mod it's currently downloading. So as you can see, currently it's downloading mod 55, but it's changing so much um, as there are so many mods, but there are 224 in total. And once it's finished, there's then gonna be a play button appear where the install button was originally. So you want to go and click the Minecraft logo on the left hand side just here. Then that's going to take you back to all of the mod packs you have installed. And when you go and put your mouse over it, you go and get this play button. So I'm going to go and click on play just like so. And as you can see, it's then going to go and install the Minecraft launcher. Uh, so you can sit back and just wait for this to finish. So the Minecraft launcher has just appeared behind Curse Forge. So I'm going to go and click on it just like so and go and drag it into the middle. And then you need to go and sign into your Minecraft account. As I said before, you need to fully own Minecraft in order for this to work. So I just signed in and now I'm going to go and click on let's go just like this and that's going to take us to the Minecraft launcher. Next to the play button, better Minecraft will be selected. You can't actually go and change it so you don't need to worry about that and then you want to go and click on the play button. Now you need to go and agree to the risk of running a Minecraft mods. Uh, so you're going to click play and then it's going to go and launch. And just before launching, it may have to do some more downloads as well. So just be patient. Then it's going to go and start launching. And as you can see, it's red and you can see all of this text moving. It's just making sure all of the mods are properly installed. And you can go and minimize CurseForge as well by clicking on the minimize button. And now we can just go and wait for this to finish. As you can see, Better Minecraft is really, really cool. And it's got so many awesome functions and there's so much you can go and do in it. So if you did find this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. 
Peace.